Hi, I'm Andrew Daniel from 3Ts, and today we're going to do a very quick comparison between the iPhone and the Ricoh Vita Z1 for Matterport 3D Tours. We're not going to go into too much detail because if you see my previous two videos, I've got the links down below, that'll explain in more detail how to do the uh, virtual tours using those cameras. Today we just want to basically see ease of use and what the quality is going to look like. Uh, before we start, just let you know we've just done it on one room because as we did mention in our previous videos, we don't think the iPhone is actually good enough to do a full property. So you're looking at maybe a one bedroom apartment or an office possibly. Uh, so before we start, just let you know it took me one and a half minutes to do it with the Ricoh Theta camera and it took me about 11 minutes to do it with the iPhone. So please have a look and see what you think. Scanning this room with the Ricoh was really easy. Basically, it's just a matter of taking two photographs. It took me just over a minute and then we're all done. So here we go with the finished product. Doll's house looks nice. And as you can see, the quality is really good with this camera. What I do like is the fact that the colors are just really easy to see and actually does give a true reflection of what the property looked like at the time that we took the scans. Light and bright and yet overall really happy with this one. So, onto the iPhone. This footage was actually shot at times 8 speed. In reality, it took me just over 10 minutes to complete the two angles I required for the tour for this room. Um, obviously the three scans, top, middle and bottom, can be quite time consuming and also do make you feel a little bit dizzy as well. So, here we are onto the iPhone finished product. As you can see, the doll's house doesn't look too bad. And to be fair, the overall quality of it isn't too bad at all for a phone, handheld. There's a couple of misalignments, but nothing too bad. Um, as you scroll around, it's actually okay. But the main thing for me is actually the color of the property. I just don't like the fact it does look a little bit dull. The light doesn't look that natural. As you compare it with the, the Rico, to me, I'm Rico every time. Okay, so to sum up, we're gonna give ease of use to the Theta. Again, it's a couple of photographs in each room. Instead of spinning around, getting dizzy, that's a no brainer for me, it has to win that one. Again, with the quality, we give that to the Theta as well. Really good quality. I'm really impressed with that camera and the colors really do come through and shine on that one. Portability, obviously they're both really great. You can put them in your pocket, take it with you. You're not humping a big suitcase around like the Matterport Pro 2. And lastly on price, I've given it to the iPhone primarily just because you might have an iPhone. So basically you're gonna get that for nothing. Although I think you probably will need the uh, iPhone 11, which we will review shortly with this software because with my iPhone 10, so I wasn't really happy, but fee to 800 pounds is a really good option. That's the end of our quick comparison. If you want further information down below is a link to our two full reviews of those cameras. Hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe. Thank you.